got a nice little job this morning. Lawrence has been thinking about jib sheeting positions and isn't happy with the way the Dyneema runs through the deck. He's come up with a nice little solution and made a carbon through deck fitting, which should help. Here's the, uh, the fitting on the deck. So this is the jib sheeting position. As you can see, the blocks come through the deck, the Dyneema loop there, and there's a stainless eye. I mean, they work pretty well. If I go down here at the moment, this is holding the dagger board up. So that's retaining the dagger board. That's why there's a rope on it. If you look on that side, there's a bit of foam, which is stuck on this block to protect it on the deck. And then that goes down and then there's a Dyneema knot inside there under the deck head, which stops this block pulling out and enables this block to go through any direction it needs to do. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna re just replace this exit of this block with a sort of carbon exit tube, which I've got here in my pocket. I made these up the workshop. Whether they're gonna be any better than these Rutchison rings that I just basically pushed into resin, I don't know, but I think these give a better exit and a better radius. And if you wanna see how I made this, check out our workshop video. If we pop into the hatch here, we can see under the deck head what we've got on the base of those. There's the other end of that fitting. As you can see, it fills up with water and all we've got is these little plastic containers and they're just masticed to the deck. I mean, I quite like them in that you can check if there's any problem going on quite easily. The Dyneema knot is there, you can inspect it. The Dyneema is incredibly strong, so if you go up the thickness, then the l amount of strength you lose with the knot is, I think, uh, made up for by the extra strength of the fitting. So the water is able to drain in, but we don't worry about that being damp. All I'm gonna do is replace the top bit that goes through the deck with that, uh, so it's a better run. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some padding around the deck where the block flip-flops around, because the one problem you find with composite boats and metal fittings, if they hit the deck, they cause problems. That's why I like soft attachment points. Probably the bright fluorescent green is maybe a bit uh, not really the thing, but they were easy to do and all I did was cut the top out. One thing you can get is a little bit of condensation on the outside of these because of the temperature differential. It's very full of water at the moment, but that's because we've had so much rain. And if you just leave that, then as it gets warm and everything and evaporation, you find that the, the water level drops. The whole point of these things is that they they just unscrew and then you can just pour the water out there and then you can just screw the baby back in. It's as simple as that. Okay, there we are. That's a bit, looking a bit worn actually. I measured that with calipers. So I'm going to try and run the 20 mil bit through there. All right, that's it. Gonna have a lip of filler around it anyway. I'm gonna sand that down now. So just mixing up the resin, gotta mix it up thoroughly. So it's nice and clingy, it's gonna to cling to the sides of the hole. I've masked it off. bead of resin all the way around, cleaned off all the excess, going to take the tape off and then I'm going to cover it with a little bag, a weather bag over it. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, <laughs> So the plan is this plastic bag is going to fit over the top. That's basically weatherproof for the rain that's coming. Mm, let's hope it's still here when we come back tomorrow. Okay, so it, it survived and I've taken the masking tape off and I've just got these little bits of masking tape that are put on the edge here. Okay, so now I need to just chop it off flush because it's gone right through the deck. <sighs> Luckily this flexes. Oh, 
Okay, that's good enough. And I've taken the block back and cleaned it up. I was going to replace the Dyneema rope, but it's cleaned up real nice, so there's no point at this moment. It's got plenty of life left in it. And there's the block, and I've sprayed up the block and put a more decent bit of foam on it to give it that protection for bouncing up and down on the deck. I don't know if I can just push it up now. I'll just put my hand up there and grab it. There you are. I'll just get the pulley to go in the block and we'll put it all back together again. Just to stop that pin falling out, I'm just going to put a bit of Loctite on the thread. No Loctite coming out. There we are. The sheet's going to come across there and then go to the stern. It's going to pull that way. It's uh, attached now. Um, it's on the deck. It shows the way this is going to work. This is pretty slippery. There's a good radius there as well, so it's not quite so hard on the fibers on this corner here as they come through the deck. It's got a lot of static load on it, so the wear and tear on here shouldn't be astronomical. I'm going to leave that like that. Looking nice and neat and tidy compared to what it did. When we paint the deck, we're obviously going to paint that in and make it nice and neat. One disadvantage that we did talk about is that this has got a better radius for water to go in. If it really becomes a problem, I might put a little uh, neoprene gasket. But it doesn't really matter if this fills up with water. The, the dyneme is pretty good in water. As long as the water doesn't get inside your boat, it doesn't really matter. And it's very easy, as you can see, to service. You can just pop another loop through very easily, or you can pop other ropes through and just use them for attachment points. Very light compared to stainless steel fitting and um, gives you complete articulation through all the directions whereas if it's a, a D-ring or something every angle changes the load on the D-fitting and I have seen D-fittings bent completely over by being loaded in the wrong way. So here's a more universal fitting that can take load in all directions.